good afternoon. My name is Rafaela, and my paper's name is Critical Literacy in English Writing in Elementary Level Classes at the Catholic Cultura no Campus Project. My mentor is Professor Sergio Rifa, and the project is for us uh, English teachers information, and we teach English for undergraduate students from other majors. And the object, the objective of the course is to form critical citizens through the English language. And as I teach elementary classes, I thought it would be a good way to also develop the students' writing, because the students have shown interest in writing and I thought it would be good to develop their learning strategies since the beginning of the course. And the process writing, I use the definitions of CO and Harmer, and they they establish four stages for the process writing, which are um, pre pre writing, drafting, editing, and revising. And there's another one that is the final product. Um, I made a questionnaire with the students to talk about only writing and one of the students said to check one of the one of the criteria she would like me to consider in the in our evaluation would be to check everything I produce from the first text I write until I get to the text. So they thought the students thought it's important to consider the whole process, not only the project. So I thought I, sh I could use critical literacy as a pre-writing because as we want to form critical citizens, it would be good to discuss before they could write. And I'm, as we don't have much time, I selected, I selected two classes I'm going to talk about. And this semester we've started working with more polemic themes and it's possible to, to do that because we have adult students and they, they like those things. Well, the first lesson, in the first lesson I brought the text, Mr. Gay raises storm in Africa. Mr. Gay is a worldwide beauty pageant that is for only for male homosexuals. So this year it was in Africa, and the text talks about how it was uh, it was not very accepted there. People, the contestants uh, got one of the contestants was disinherited. Three other three others gave up on the contest, and these kinds of things. The comments made by Africans, uh, the text was published in uh, an African website and people were allowed to comment on the text. So some African people, they made comments pro the event and against the event. They were very impolite and they used even swear words to, to give their opinions. So, after the students read the text, I asked them questions like what is the real objective of the text and what views are privileged in the text and then they could talk about the comments and the text in the classroom and bring, bring the subject to a local environment. We, I asked them to write comments in English answering this question. What would be your position if that event were about to happen in Masayo? That is our city. And they wrote, these are three uh, examples of what they wrote. I'm not going to read them all. But the first one um, says that the event gives our country the opportunity to be like, what that means secular, he didn't know the word, totally free, equal, and evolved. The second, I am against any kind of prejudice, 
All should respect the differences. Each one has the right to make their choices. And the last one, I think who, I think that in Brazil would be very similar despite the Brazilian be very liberal. As we can see, they after even after the discussion in the classroom, they have very different opinions, but they could express themselves in English. And the fact that it's about writing, they have more time to think about what they are going to write, and they have other resources, such as dictionaries and myself, the teacher. About these differences, Matu says that diversity does not constitute obstacle, but a resource, a priceless good for a society that seeks itself plural and equal. In the second lesson, I continued the discussion about this topic. I brought a text about the murder of a homosexual couple in Alagoas. The text talks about, the text reports the murder and they said, they say that the couple had some bad behavior, like one of the people had AIDS and slept with other partners, but they don't, they don't mention any kind of source uh, on that. And they say they have some kind of religion that was considered uh, bad. So they privileged the view of the murder, really, the murderer. And so I asked students the same questions, basically the same questions. What is the objective? And then I asked them to play the part of the mother of one of, one of the people from the couple and a friend. Some of them were still against the concept. I asked them, if you were the mother, would, would you be okay with the event or not? And some of them were pro the event and some of them were against. During the discussion, some students said that this kind of event, a uh, beauty pageant, would not be good against homophobia because it brings up the, the characteristics that society says that homosexuals are vain, they, they care a lot about beauty, and they are consumers, and it would be good to have another kind of event, not that event. So then I asked them to create a new event, not a beauty pageant, and here are the results. The first one is a congress against the gay prejudice. They said that in this event there would be round tables, speeches, workshops, and a show. They they said they would invite Elton John <laughs> to perform <laughs> and to give a speech. And they, there is a timetable. In the second one, disconstruct the prejudice. They also prepared lectures and round tables. And they thought it would be good to to bring cultural performances as well, like dance, martial arts, and etc. Because they thought it would be good to show society that gay people do the same things as straight people. And the last one, <laughs> uh, round table. Is homosexuality an option? They focused <laughs> that this is a DNA. There are catch-up phrases, I'm gay and I want to be free. They thought it would be good to focus on the idea that homosexuality could not be an option, but it's about genetics. So they, they prepared lectures with experts, and that's it. My final considerations are these two classes they show that there is a possibility of developing critical thinking in an elementary English class. And working with writing enables students to use more resources and they feel more confident to express themselves. I could see that 
during the class, they were they didn't feel confident to speak in English. They they discussed in Portuguese, but they could write. They wanted to write in English because they had more time. And students were able to contribute on the topic by creating those events. These are my references. And this is my mail. Thank <laughs> you.